Well, the first time I climbed, there was no such thing as indoor climbing. <laughs> so it was definitely outdoors. Um, yeah, yeah. I love climbing with all my kids whenever they go. I take my wife when she's up for it. Just love having people get up there and go, wow, this is, this is awesome, you know? And my favorite climb to do that on is Corrugation Corner. It's real, it is real climbing, the route finding, you could get, and I, I get palpitations every time I come through that chimney and do that downward traverse to the right. Still, and I climbed it 15, 20 times probably. I, you know, I think what keeps me coming back climbing is the, the physical fitness for sure. It keeps me in total body shape and I hike uh, for the cardio and, you know, you go to St. Helena or you go up there at 6,000 feet, you get some cardio just getting to the base of the climb. So um, I'll get my cardio other ways, but it's how I get my physical fitness. I haven't found anything else that I remotely enjoy as much as I do climbing. And, it, and it's, the, it's the, the mental game too. I mean, I retired from medicine three years ago and from surgery and the, the mental game of doing that, that's a lot like placing trad gear, you know? So I don't necessarily want to lead super hard stuff, but I love introducing new people to the sport, especially trad lead. Yeah, and, that, and that's definitely, I, you know, when I'm climbing, it's all about safety, and the main piece of advice I would give to them is don't stress about it. Just go out there and have fun. I mean, if you're climbing tens in the gym, go outside and climb an eight. I mean, you don't, it's, it's so different. There's no holds to look at. There's no tape on anything. You just get to do whatever you want to, and you get to the top, and then enjoy the view of the Napa Valley when you're up on St. Helena when you get to the top, or enjoy the view of Pyramid Peak when you get to the top of Lover's Leap. And it's fun. So the craziest thing that's happened to me on a route, so we were climbing on the hog's back and we were on Harvey Wallbanger's left, I believe. And I got up to the first belay ledge. It's about three feet long, but only about six inches deep. And there's a crack that you have to, that's where you go up for the next pitch. And there's, there's a piton there. And that's the first thing you do is clip that piton and then build an anchor. Well, I went to clip the piton and there's a damn rattlesnake on the piton, a baby, which are the worst kind, as we all know. And so I'm going, hmm, I step to the left a little bit. I'm like, okay. It tucks its head back in, and then I'm thinking if I can knock it off, and I look down and Jet's going, what's going on? I'm like, no, I can't knock the snake off either. So I ended up climbing down below the ledge, hanging on the ledge, using some nuts to build an anchor, and then I, I lowered myself off and cleaned on the way down, left that stuff on the wall, and my rope, wiped against some um, dry brush. <laughs> that was just dry brush, but it made this sound scared the crap out of my scream like a little girl. And just like, what's going on? I'm like, nothing, never mind. It was, it was, I thought it was another snake. I have always had the red dihedral in mind on the Incredible Hulk. And at some point when I feel like I can really do that much approach time and climbing, I'll convince Patch to take me out there. That way I don't have to lead it. As far as Vertex in the community, the, the biggest thing for me was when I started, there, I, I didn't know anybody else who wanted to climb. Um, so I don't know if you do climb time anymore, but that was a deal and I'd come out and do climb time and invariably there was at least one person there who was belay certified. So we just go climb together. And now that they, they auto belays are here, there's again, usually somebody who's auto belaying. I did it today. You watch them and you make sure they're, you know. And if you see a threesome climbing together, here's, here's another key. If you see a threesome climbing together and you're thinking, okay, we could just have two pairs. You watch everybody climb, you watch everybody belay. You wait till the best belayer is not part of the system and they're just watching, hey, wanna, <laughs> wanna pair up? <laughs> it's like, okay. Make sure that you get the best belayer out of the threesome.